And it's the fight against cancer. Almost everyone knows someone who has been affected by this terrible disease. In fact, approximately 6,700 Hawaii residents are diagnosed with cancer. Two local students are taking action through a volleyball tournament to spike cancer. Ikaika Van Dyke and Puna Smith are both 10th graders at Punahou School, and they join us this morning to talk about their upcoming event. Fellas, thank you so much for joining us this morning, because I know you still got to go to school today. <laughs> I know cancer has affected everybody here in the islands, and I know some of your family members. Can you share some of those stories? Well, like you said, cancer has affected so many people in Hawaii and across the world. Uh, most directly was my mom, who is diagnosed with breast cancer twice and is now in remission and my grandpa who was diagnosed with stage 4 lung cancer and sadly passed away. But even though my grandpa passed away, my mom is a proud cancer survivor. And what and, about you, Paul? And uh, for me, I think everyone is just dealing with cancer in one way or another. My uh, grandmother had breast cancer when I was younger and uh, one of my closest friends right now is actually dealing with cancer in his family currently. So I think it's, it's just something important that affects everyone. And you guys are actually getting involved and you talked about the Cancer Vive volleyball tournament that's coming up. Well, my, after my grandpa passed away, my family wanted to support the fight against cancer. So my brother, Parker Van Dyke, and Claudio Clini created Cancer Vive, a volleyball tournament, in 2016. And so far, they thought they would create, they thought they would make about a couple thousand dollars. But with their hard work and uh, tremendous support from Melissa Lum and Randy Morris from Extreme Fitness Club, they were able to raise $15,000, and in the second year, over $17,000. So, yeah. And this yeah. is the third year coming up, right? Yeah, over the summer, Ikaika <laughs> asked me if I wanted to uh, participate in this annual event that his brother is doing. And uh, I participated in it in earlier years, and I thought it was really good. And now I'm actually helping host it or Put it together and I think it's really cool. I'm really glad I said yes. It's just been a really good experience. And all the money raised, where would that money be going towards? Uh, it's, it's all going to be going to the Queens Cancer Center. 100% of it will be going to them and it's just, it's a really good cause. Actually recently we were able to take a look at their facilities mm -hmm. and it was just, it was a really good experience. We learned a lot and I feel like I'm more aware of the current situation of cancer. Now you can join Yukaika and Puna at the third annual Can Survive Beach Volleyball Tournament. It is this Sunday, November 11th at the Queens Beach Sandbox. The four-person teams can be co-ed, ages juniors to adults, players who receive cool swag bag, and the $30 donation to participate is tax deductible, but you must register by noon on Thursday. For more information, just go to our website at kh 2 Dot com. Ikaika and Puna, thank you so much for sharing your stories. Thank you. And best of luck yeah. on this Sunday. You guys are not sitting on the sidelines. You guys are getting involved and trying to spike cancer. So way to go. Thanks for having thank us. You.